Did you know how cables are laid under the sea? It's a question that doesn't frequently cross our minds, yet the answer is a testament to human ingenuity. Welcome, dear listener, to the wonder of underwater cables. These silent workhorses of our modern world are responsible for a vast majority of our international data transfer. Picture this. You're sitting at your desk in London, video calling a friend in Sydney. It feels instantaneous, almost magical, doesn't it? But there's no magic here, just a marvel of engineering. The data that makes this possible travels through a complex network of cables, a significant portion of which are laid deep beneath the ocean. There are primarily three types of underwater cables. First, we have telecommunication cables, the most well-known of the lot. These are the cables that make our global internet connectivity possible. Then there are power cables, responsible for transmitting electricity between countries and even continents. Finally, there are seismic cables, used to detect underwater earthquakes and provide early warnings for tsunamis. This network of cables is a lifeline for our interconnected world. They carry the bulk of our international data from your favorite cat videos to crucial financial transactions. They power our homes, our offices, our cities. They even help us predict natural disasters and save countless lives. Yet despite their importance, they remain largely invisible to us, hidden beneath miles of water. It's easy to forget that they are there, quietly doing their job, making our digital lives possible. But make no mistake, without them our world would look very different. How are these cables laid at the bottom of the ocean, sometimes in waters deeper than Mount Everest is high? It's a process that involves years of planning, cutting-edge technology, and the collective efforts of hundreds of engineers. So how does this remarkable engineering feat happen? Before a cable touches the ocean floor, there are lots of prep work involved. The journey of an underwater cable begins long before it ever makes contact with the sea. It all kicks off with an extensive seabed survey. Teams of marine geologists and geophysicists study the ocean floor, looking for the most suitable route for the cable. They consider various factors such as the depth of the water, the type of seabed, and potential obstacles like shipwrecks, seismic activity, and marine life. Their goal is to find the smoothest and safest path possible for our underwater cable. Once the seabed survey is complete, it's time to turn our attention to the manufacturing process. The cables are not your standard garden variety. They are specially designed for the challenging environment of the ocean floor. They are composed of multiple layers of protective materials, including steel for strength, polyethylene for insulation, and copper or fiber optics for data transmission. The manufacturing process is a meticulous one, ensuring that the cables are robust enough to withstand the harsh conditions of the deep sea, while still being flexible enough to navigate the ocean floor's complex topography. Now with our cables ready, it's time to load them onto a cable-laying ship. This is no small feat. These cables are heavy, often weighing several tons, and they are long, stretching up to several thousand kilometers. Specialized machinery is used to carefully load the cables onto the ship, coiling them in large tanks to prevent tangling. Every meter of the cable is inspected for defects before it's loaded onto the ship to ensure that there are no surprises once we hit the open sea. The preparation phase is a critical part of the underwater cable laying process. It requires a blend of scientific understanding, engineering expertise, and careful planning. It's a testament to human ingenuity, showing how we've adapted our technology to brave the challenging conditions of the deep sea. With all the groundwork done, it's time to set sail. A laying a cable on the ocean floor is no easy voyage. It's a journey that starts on the deck of a ship, a vessel designed and equipped for a task as monumental as this. The ship, often a cable layer or cable ship, is a marvel in itself. A testament to human ingenuity and resolve, it's here that our voyage begins with miles and miles of cable coiled on the deck, waiting to connect continents. On the deck of the ship, the cable is carefully fed into the sea through a series of pulleys and conveyors, all working in harmony to ensure the cable descends into the depths smoothly. The cable itself is not just a simple strand of wire, it's a complex assembly of conductive materials, insulation, and protective layers designed to withstand the immense pressure and harsh conditions of the ocean floor. 
The process of lowering the cable into the water is slow and meticulous. A plow-like device, aptly named the sea plow, is used to create a trench on the seabed. As the ship moves forward, the cable is fed into the trench carefully and precisely to ensure it lies perfectly on the ocean floor. The sea plow is a remarkable piece of engineering. It's designed to withstand the immense pressures of the deep sea guided by remote operated vehicles and monitored by deep sea cameras. It's a dance of technology and precision, a ballet of engineering and perseverance. The cable as it descends into the ocean is a lifeline, a tether that connects us across vast distances. It carries our voices, our data, our hopes and dreams, and sometimes our very lives. It is a testament to our collective ability to overcome challenges, to reach out, to connect. The process is slow, methodical, and requires immense patience and precision. It's a journey that is as much about the journey as it is about the destination. As the cable sinks into the depths, it brings us closer, one mile at a time. But what happens when the cable reaches the ocean floor? That, dear listener, is the next part of our journey, a journey that delves into the depths of the ocean and the marvels of engineering. Once the cable reaches the ocean floor, that's when the real work begins. A cable as thick as a soda can, unspooling into the depths of the ocean, guided by the hands of engineers and the forces of physics. It's a dance of precision, a choreography of technology and nature. The cable is guided by a remotely operated vehicle, or ROV, a kind of underwater drone. The ROV is fitted with cameras and lights to navigate the murky depths and guide the cable to its final resting place. But it's not as simple as just laying it down. The ocean floor is a rugged terrain full of mountains, valleys and trenches. To navigate these challenges, the cable is laid in a process called plowing. A device, aptly named the sea plow, is attached to the cable and the ROV. As the ROV moves forward, the sea plow digs a trench on the ocean floor into which the cable is neatly tucked away. This helps protect the cable from damage by anchors, fishing nets or curious sea creatures. The cable must be carefully monitored as it descends to ensure it lands in the right place and at the right tension. Too loose and it could snag on the ocean floor. Too tight and it risks snapping under the strain. Despite our best efforts, the ocean is a wild and unpredictable place. Currents can shift, storms can brew, and sea creatures may decide to take a nibble. So even as the cable is laid, engineers must be ready to adapt and adjust. They must be vigilant, keeping a watchful eye on their monitors and ready to make any necessary changes at a moment's notice. Even with the best laid plans, problems can arise. When it comes to underwater cables, potential issues run the gamut from simple wear and tear to damage from natural disasters or fishing activities. The ocean is a challenging environment, and these cables must be designed to withstand all it can throw at them. A common problem is cable breakage, which can occur due to the harsh underwater conditions. When a cable breaks, it can disrupt communication networks or power supplies. To fix this, engineers deploy special ships equipped with remote-operated vehicles or ROVs to locate and repair the break. The ROV descends to the ocean floor, locates the broken cable, cuts out the damaged section and installs a new piece. It's a high-stakes underwater operation requiring precision and skill. Another issue is cable degradation over time. Exposure to salt water and marine life can corrode the cable's protective layers. To combat this, regular maintenance checks are performed. These checks involve using specialized equipment to send signals down the cable testing its performance and identifying any potential weak spots. Maintenance also involves preventative measures. For instance, to protect cables from fishing activities or anchor drops, they are often buried under the seabed in shallow waters. This requires a plow-like device that digs a trench for the cable and then buries it. It's a bit like gardening, but on a much larger and more complex scale. In areas with high seismic activity, cables may need to be specially designed to withstand earthquakes. These cables are built with extra strong materials and are regularly inspected to ensure they're holding up under the strain. All these measures ensure the reliability and longevity of underwater cables. It's a constant battle against the elements, but with careful planning and regular maintenance, these cables can continue to serve us for many years. As you can see, maintaining these underwater cables is just as important as laying them. These cables hidden beneath the ocean's surface, are the backbone of our modern global communications. They enable us to send an email across continents in a blink, 
stream high-definition videos without a hitch, or conduct real-time video conferences with colleagues thousands of miles away. They are the invisible threads that weave the fabric of our interconnected world. Beyond communication, these cables also play an instrumental role in the economy. The global financial markets, for instance, depend on the real-time exchange of data. A few milliseconds of delay could mean millions of dollars in lost opportunities. Underwater cables ensure that financial data travels at near light speed, providing the bedrock for our increasingly digital economy. It's not just about numbers and data. These cables have fundamentally changed our world and the way we interact with each other. They've made the world smaller, bridging geographical divides and enabling cultural exchanges at an unprecedented scale. They've fostered global collaboration, turning isolated ideas into worldwide movements. They've empowered us to share our stories, our dreams and our struggles with the world, creating a global community that is more connected than ever. But despite their immense impact, these cables remain largely unseen and unappreciated. They lie deep beneath the ocean, away from our sight, silently carrying our messages, our emotions and our dreams across the vast expanse of the sea. They work tirelessly, day in and day out, to keep us connected, to keep our world running. In essence, these underwater cables are the unseen heroes of our connected world. They may be out of sight, but their impact is felt in every corner of the globe, in every email sent, every video streamed, and every financial transaction made. They are the silent witnesses to our digital age, the unsung heroes of our interconnected world. So the next time you're streaming your favorite show, uploading a picture or even just sending an email, take a moment to appreciate the complex journey that your data has taken. From the factory, across the ocean, through the wind and the waves, to the ocean floor and finally to your device. This intricate process, this dance of engineering and nature is happening every day, largely unseen and unappreciated, but it's essential to our modern world. It's the invisible thread that connects us all. Next time you make a call or send a message, remember, it might just be traveling under the sea.